This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news in the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Gavin Gaddis, in for Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, March 19th. First up, men's March Madness ad inventory is all but sold out. According to Warner Brothers Discovery's EVP of ad sales, both CBS Sports and TNT Sports are basically sold out of ad inventory for the men's side of March Madness. This year's NBA March tournament is breaking revenue records for Warner Brothers Discovery as the two entities are covering all 67 games across TBS, CBS, TNT, and True TV, with the added bonus of CBS aired games also streaming live on Paramount+, Plus, while the rest are streamed to max. For those brands still looking to get in on March Madness action, this is a casual reminder of the substantial number of well-performing sports podcasts with engaged audiences and available inventory. There's still plenty of opportunity to take advantage of March Madness audiences over here in podcasting. Up next, five charts on how third-party cookie deprecation will change ad buys. E-marketer analysts remain confident Google will not be pushing back its deadline to retire third-party cookies yet again, and the deprecation is coming. According to Q3 2023 data from 33 Across, cookied inventory still accounts for most programmatic activity. ID5 State of Digital Identity 2023 shows the top solution considered most viable as a replacement for third-party cookie data is first-party data and contextual. Proximix 2024 State of Programmatic reaffirms this with contextual data and first party dominating the average budget allocation across data types for targeting. Podcasting remains uniquely positioned for a post-cookie world as the industry has always primarily used first party data and has excellent contextual targeting capabilities. Up next, teens use YouTube on a daily basis more than TikTok. According to Pew Research data from their Teen Social Media and Technology 2023 report published back in December, 38% of respondents aged 13 to 17 use YouTube several times a day. 16% say they use it almost constantly, and 17% say about once a day. A stark contrast to something like Facebook, which only has 3% of teens using it constantly, and 8% checking it out several times a day. TikTok only scored 32% for several times a day and only edged out YouTube by 1% on users who are constantly engaging. YouTube has momentum and a massive user base. This data reaffirms that YouTube is a great place for podcasting to leverage Gen Z's attention on both full episodes and promotional short clips. Next up from Digiday, while advertisers are playing it cool, they're hesitant to unleash their budgets on TikTok. TikTok finds itself in a precarious position after the House of Representatives fast-tracked a president-endorsed bill last week that, if passed by the Senate, will ban TikTok in the U.S. if parent company ByteDance does not divest ownership to a U.S.-owned company. Currently, the controversial bill is not being fast-tracked through the Senate, though if it were passed, it would start a 165-day clock for TikTok to be divested or cease operations in the U.S. In response, some advertisers are jumping ship. One ad exec told Digiday advertisers are giving mandates to pull all investment in TikTok campaigns within 90 days. Others are taking a slower approach of simply winding down spending on the app while its future is complicated. Regardless, there's now a significant chunk of ad spend budget no longer committed to TikTok. For those considering where to put that money, we humbly suggest the wide world of podcast advertising. And finally, Amazon sees opportunity amid the demise of third-party cookies. Once cookies are phased out, Amazon will be one of a small group of large platforms where marketers will be able to target and measure advertising all in one spot. And with the company's focus on in-house solutions like Amazon audiences and modeled conversions, they are future-proofed for the impending cookie apocalypse. In addition to ad tech for the digital side of advertising, Amazon also has farm-to-table podcasting capabilities with Wondery producing content, Art19 handling the enterprise-level hosting side, and Amazon Music for distribution and listening. As for the rest of the news, Veritonic has integrated with measurement and analytics company Adjust for audio attribution on mobile devices. Headliner debuts Podcast Promo to distribute podcast previews to target audiences in the Headliner Publisher Network. Blueberry Podcasting has announced Vid2Pod, a tool that converts YouTube playlists into audio podcasts. 
French ad tech company Audion has continued its international expansion with new additions in Belgium, and Magellan AI has posted their February movers and shakers in podcast advertising, including a 311% podcast ad spend increase from PepsiCo and 761% increase from Etsy month over month. Be sure to check out all the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, myself, and Tom Webster. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us tomorrow. <laughs>